everybody, I'm Jimmy and you're about to watch an ice fishing video on the Jimmy in the Wild channel. Before we get to the video of my first ice fishing trip this season, please take a moment to make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss the upcoming ice fishing videos and other really great outdoor content. Also be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you like the video. I'm trying to grow my channel and thumbs ups and subscribers are the way you can help me do that. Well it's been a while since I've uploaded any new content. I've been trying to get a successful ice fishing episode filmed and processed but the weather this year just hasn't been ideal for ice fishing here in central Wyoming. The ice around here didn't get good until mid-January, and then aligning my days off with days that just aren't too windy was quite a challenge. Did take one ice fishing trip before the one on this video, but it just didn't yield enough fish to make a video of. So for most of the days that I've had off of work, the wind speed has been way too high to have an enjoyable day of ice fishing in any of the nearby lakes. This gave me the great idea to pack it all up in the truck and head west about 100 miles to Boysen Reservoir met up with my cousin Mike and another really great friend to hit the ice to see what we could catch. This lake typically has much less wind than say Alcover Pathfinder Reservoirs and the water level is a little bit above average this year. You'd think that this would make walleye fishing much better but most of my friends and family that fish this lake haven't had very good luck for walleye this year. That's why for this trip we're mainly going to go for trout and whatever else bites. This lake is just packed with large rainbows in the 18 to 24 inch range. Today we're open to keeping large male rainbow trout, burbot, 15 plus inch walleye and sauger, larger crappie and larger perch. And we're definitely going to release all the female rainbow trout that are full of eggs. The meat quality of female rainbow trout carrying eggs just before the spawn, which is in just a few months, is pretty darn bad. Their meat is very light colored and mushy and not even worth putting on the smoker. Male rainbow trout, however, seem to have a decent quality of meat pretty much any time of the year. Well, let's get out there and see what we can catch. It's such a perfectly calm day on this lake and it just feels like we're going to catch something. Fourteen, fifteen, fifteen-ish. Fifteen? Twelve to fifteen, yep. We're fishing with mainly minnows for bait and then we're using tip-ups and a few jigging poles. You can have a total of six lines per person when ice fishing on this lake. It's a ton of work to set up all the tip-ups, but it's totally worth it. Each hole that you're fishing from allows you to increase the likelihood of catching something. The tip-ups get set up so the minnow is 6 to 12 inches off the bottom of the lake. This will give us the best chance of catching burbot, sauger, and walleye if they're nearby. Those fish are the best table fare from this lake and are pretty particular about what depth they feed at. Rainbow trout on the other hand are the easiest fish to catch here and will take your bait as long as it's in the water. And if you know which trout to keep, how to fillet and debone them, and how to cook them, they are pretty darn good. I know a lot of people that just don't like to eat trout, and it's likely due to a combination of these three things. Just like that, here's our first fish for the bucket. We weren't even done setting up half the tip-ups. It ended up being a nice 18-inch male rainbow. It's been caught a couple times, you can see at the top it's been hooked before. Nice fish, we're gonna keep him though. Males are the ones to keep. See if you got anything. It's not spinning. Not really. Oh, it's spinning. What do we got? Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Give him a second to calm down. Oh. Pop me off of my swivel. Oh, he's gorgeous. We'll see. Oh, she's meaty though. She's got no eggs. I'd say keep. She's good 18, 17 and a half, 18 again. And she swallowed two. Yeah, keep. Quite a ways down there. I can probably get it out, but. There we go, now that makes a total of two fish in the bucket. From outside appearances, this rainbow looked like a female without eggs, but when I cleaned it, it was a younger male. Oh, we got one over there coming up to it. 
coming up. Let's see. Give him a second. Oh, geez. What did I say I wanted? A wing. <laughs> nice. I wanted a burbot. He's about a 17 inch burbot. You swallow it. This fish is a burbitorial pout, also referred to as a lean. It's also known as poor man's lobster due to the flavor of its firm white meat. Despite its appearance, it's a really good fish to catch. Here we are about midday. We decided to break out the hot chocolate. It wasn't real cold out on this trip, but the hot chocolate helped to break up the weight until the next fish bit. Pretty close to boiling, this is very hot stuff, so be careful. What do we got? This is hook oh. number four. This has got a very slow pull to it. It's a walleye what it feels like. Or a sauger. Yeah, it feels like a walleye. Excellent. Here we go. Ooh, it's another trout, actually. Of course, you can get this one. You know, it's right there on our... Oh, excellent. Holy, let's see this one go. It's a female with way too many eggs. Yep. Here we go. Oh, man. How big do you think she is? Oh, she's about 19 inches. Fatty. And she is incredibly fat. Good job. Look Thanks, at that's that. That's fish number four. And she's going home. See you later, fishy. All right, let's go get another minnow. And I think we're starting to bite back up. That's awesome. Good job, Mike. Yep, all the way up. I don't see it spinning. Of course, I can't see that far yet. I don't see it spinning. You want to pull it up and see if we got something? Just pulled it and ran. Rainbows do that, they'll snatch your minnow right off. Minnows are still. Interesting. Something ran with it and let go. Medium. Doggone it. Almost had a fifth one, right? Here's an interesting piece of footage. Had a goldfish cam set up on a nearby tip up. A large rainbow trout is nearly the color of the water, so look closely. This fish did something similar where it mouthed the minnow until it felt the hook or felt too much resistance and then it let go. All right. And it's spinning good. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was a big trout, big trout. Big trout, oh yeah, pulling. Maybe a keeper, feels like we probably got him in the gullet. He's very large. Very large fish. I might be wrong because it's deep. Oh yeah, it's a male. He's a big guy. He's a five pounder. Oh. He's hooked good. Big old five pounder. Woohoo! Over 20. That fifth fish was the last fish we caught for the day. We spent a few more hours fishing, but we didn't even get a single bite. We fished just until the sun was about to go down, then we packed it all up and I headed home. Overall, it was a pleasant day of ice fishing, even if we didn't catch more fish. I did end up bringing home three male rainbow trout and that one burbot. All three trout had perfectly bright orange meat, just like a salmon. And the burbot yielded about eight ounces of very tasty white meat. I ended up cooking it just like you would walleye, and it was excellent. Well, that's it for today's episode. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can find your way back here for all the upcoming outdoor and fishing fun. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.